Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and safe and I've got a feeling that life is beginning to get back to normal again different but back to normal we can go out so long we're careful well you've most probably seen my reviews on uh, the decks that I've, I'm using I'm using my uh, Shadowland Tarot and the Shadow House of Shadow by um, Monica Bravinsky and I'm using a new Lenemann deck that is the Mirror Truth Lenemann and then I'm using my Crystal deck and I'm using the White Witch deck and I think they're beautiful, they're all beautiful and postcard from Spirit and they were received very well in the life and I hope you will enjoy this reading remember this is a general reading so if you um, if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign or your rising sign okay so I'm going to hold up the cards one by one so you can see the artistry on this and it's beautiful and if you are uh, a fan of the Adam family then this will resonate with you too because you do see some uh, characters coming back or near enough okay so this is the overall energy this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and some Oracle cards just to sustain you and motivate you and let you know don't stress okay if you need an extensive reading then please have a look for the information below this video and or you can click on the little white dot in the right hand corner well it's left it's left for me so it will be in this corner when the video is up and running the first card that you have oh sorry um, I forgot the date this reading is for the 25th to the 31st of um, May and I see that we've just gone in to Gemini the Sun sign of Gemini and that is also the moon of Gemini okay of course well some say moon but it is the Sun sign so happy birthday to all the Gemini's okay and I might do something start something there will be new things starting um, so keep your eyes peeled on the website because there is news coming up and I will be announcing it on my website so do go and have a look at my website I haven't updated it yet because I'm doing all the reviews first first of all you start off with the Empress the Empress and she stands for fertility okay um, birth birth of a child birth of a project also growth and blossoming and all the fruit is coming ready so she's guarding all the the seeds that she has planted okay and then you can harvest it so if you have invested in something then uh, it will be coming up pretty soon could be this week and the Empress she also represents Libra so you might be meeting a Libra starting a new friendship okay so you might start a new job or you might get to hear that you can start a new job or you might find the right job the right house you might find uh, out that you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions if you are too mature to get pregnant then you might become an aunt or a grandmother the next card we have is from the Lenemann or the Oracle deck as Monica says we have the hand and this is what I mean by the Adams family you had the hand and this that's why it reminds me so the hand well you know palmistry you can read the lines in the hand and you've got the moon signs the zodiac signs so that is just 
what this card represents, what is in your hand, how, what is your destiny, do you know your destiny? Sometimes, um, well let me put it this way, although we can exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined and when, when they, you know, that is your plan, that's your map for your life. That's what some people believe, but I always say, have a look what is around you, which cards are around you, if you do a reading. So what is your destiny in the cards? And I always say, it, you can't tell the future, you can only tell what energy is around you. And sometimes you do, uh, you can see things from the hands, from palmistry. So let's have a look what is around you. Well, the cards around you are the Empress. That's what's lying underneath. So your destiny is that you are waiting. You're sitting there. You are waiting for a new beginning. Or perhaps your wish is to become a mother, to get pregnant. There is going to be a new beginning, um, like a birth, like I said. Um, but it could also be a new job or a new house. Perhaps that's what you're planning and perhaps that is your destiny. That's what you're longing for. So you've already, the Empress is also like the Queen of Pentacles. So if you've invested in something, the destiny is that you will see a return. And that could be um, a rediment from an investment like money or you can uh, you have uh, sown the seeds and you found a house that you want and you put in an offer so you s want to get news you're seeing return on Wednesday you have the seven of pentacles and I think it's so funny this is the fly eating um, plant so you've got dreams you've got wishes goals so perhaps that was your goal, to get pregnant, or to see a return on an investment. You might actually um, meet a lady, and this lady, um, as we've got the lady here, is 29. And the, this lady, number 29, is also uh, 11. So that could be an angel around you. Perhaps you would love to meet a lady, which... Uh, um, could be a Libra um, and luck is on your side because the angels are with you they will be sending you this person okay a nurturing caring loving person it could also be a man because you know um, the cards don't aren't sex uh, uh, sexed um, it could be a man with a feminine side a nurturing caring loving side Okay, so if you're a lady, you could be meeting this man. If you're a man, you could be meeting a lady. Okay, that is your dream. Perhaps that is your destiny and to start a family. Or partnering up with a lady to start this new job, this new investment. Okay, or a lady might s um, tell you about a new investment. This could be um, a finance broker, anything. Then at the end of the week, you've got the King of Wands. And the King of Wands is an Aries, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. I love the color in these cards. Even a black cat. <laughs> Okay, this is a man of action, a man of passion, a man that's creative, a man that knows what he wants and he goes for it. He goes into action. You might even get news from an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, as you've got the letter um, underneath. And since I was talking about a broker here, um, or a, a teacher or somebody um, that works is in the workforce 
um, he might be your employer or prospective employer you will get news this could be official news this could be contracts wow okay Capricorn now the card for the weekend you've got the two of Pentacles there you are I just said financial advisor um, before I saw the card and or a broker somebody might ask you to invest in something be careful okay be careful I know he he is uh, action and I know he is quick but this man is logical he does look at the small print and he, he is creative he will only invest in something if it if he knows that there will be a return so you might be balancing your finances or you could be ba uh, balancing your heart or your mind okay okay you have to try to get back into balance definitely but there is a new beginning and like I said there is a lady here you might wish to meet so <coughs> perhaps at the weekend um, this lady could come and give you a bunch of flowers or luck there is also an ending to something an ending uh, to um, a slow period like I said at the beginning of the video I think life is getting back a little bit more to normal but different and I think you will find your balance with uh, help from this king or this lady it could be an advisor because you've got the Empress that's also a lady I think it could be a mother or an aunt um, that might give you advice or a father figure or a partner now and they could be giving you a gift because you've got the bouquet and that means luck and a gift now you've got the five of cups that is the overall energy let the past go you can't change the past so that could be the advice or the news that you will be receiving on how to carry on and how to change the present and the future to make it really worth while and something for long term which is your dream or your goal this could be a house or, or a job or a child like I said and talking about the house you have the house so the house means generally the basic meaning means uh, don't isolate yourself I know the house feels safe because you can lock yourself away from the outside world it's time to fly out like all the spooks and the ghosts okay go and do some network if you've got a business go and do some network outside not only on the computer go outside and get to know people mix with people let your business grow let it be known that you are open for business again boom you've got the four so uh, there will be a stable growth and the clover is underneath it luck is with you but you've got luck here as well now from the new deck from the mirror truth Lenemon, you've got the clouds okay and you've got again the king of fire the king of wands if I use the cartomacy after rain comes sunshine so the sunshine is coming in now there might have been disagreements or arguments but you're back in balance here you are juggling to get into balance so you are going to come back in balance and these arguments or disagreements will be short-lived now for the um, crystal you have Orgerine or Orgerine or Orgerine. Now again, this basically means integrity, solidarity, impeccability, reliability, and consistency. So after you might have had a disagreement or an argument, you um, if you you can download these cards. I've found them on Pinterest. If you type in crystal 
um, what were they, what were they called again? The Crystal Spirit cards. Then on Pinterest, you can print this down, and you can hold this this card to your chest when you're contemplating or meditating, or put it on your visionary board or on your uh, cooler uh, with magnets. And it's also number one again. It is a new beginning. So you, c if you carry this, this will um, enhance your integrity, solidarity, impeccability, and reliability and consistency. You'll be consistent and you'll be in balance. It will bring you back to balance. And you know, uh, if if you know, some people might not like it when you say no, say what you. Um, Say what you mean and mean what you say, and do what you say. Okay. Um, when I was working in the healthcare, I used to say what I was going to do, and I, I did what I said, and that's clear. If so, and learn to say no, Capricorn. If that's why you had a disagreement, then people will turn round. This is also a way that um, people will have to uh, respect you for who you are and for what you want so that you can be whole and balanced okay so listen to your intuition and if you really don't want to say no pause take a breath and you don't want to do it and you don't want to say no <coughs> just say excuse me can I think about it just take that time out just to say that can excuse me can I just think about it pause before you say yes and that's how you learn to say no S and l download the card or get the stone and carry it with you it will enhance your integrity and your stability now from the white witch tarot that's only the big arcana you have the magician and I love these cards especially if you're looking for a new tattoo they're amazing so go and have a look at the review because then you can see all the cards and you might get a, an idea for a new tattoo now I've underneath the re uh, review I've also put down a list of all the zodiac signs and who's who like Capricorn is the devil now you have the magician so perhaps you might want to take the picture of um, Capricorn I'll, from the devil I'll see whether I can find it uh, hang on a minute and I'll, that's a good idea that's a little extra here's the devil and it, it, he looks quite friendly and they look very aboriginal okay so I'll just leave that one there so that you can see uh, when you see the uh, review which one to look for okay so that means also a new beginning because the magician is number one okay now I've I, I love it so you've got the meaning from the card so there's a new beginning um, don't hide anything be open be true to yourself and to others don't do anything that can create disillusions because the magician is also an illusionist so don't be true to yourself and stay real okay now you can't have any illusions or disillusions about anything now I'm going to read what the uh, Maya doused says about the uh, it's a little poem so it, I think it's really lovely magician magnetism you yes you will attract people towards you if you stay real and friendly and calm and don't create any waves S be integrity uh, in integrity counts okay magnetism the mag magus is magnetic acquiring ability obscuring objects weaving warped and wave okay 
shifting into appearance, what is already present, previously occulted, revealed now. So something will be revealed to you through direction of immortal primal power that has existed before you ever thought the cast to cast a spell or will remain long after you have made a wish to become the one who knows move magic through you so let the energy flow open up your solar plex open up your hearts and that's what she's saying okay move magic through you as a wild wind blows so accept the change and the new beginnings one two three new beginnings number one wow let the past go okay beautiful and now I'm going to give you uh, the a postcard from spirit dearest Capricorn we need you to know that you can change things miraculously this word magic miraculous is coming so you are the magician you can take control you can make it happen thing uh, change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right no arguments it's too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden release the past of an old story one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own you don't need to carry this around you can set yourself free even advocating for a good for good because of its experience requires your forgiveness to be effective take action be wise forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done it's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others and that is the opposite of what you really desire right imagine what your life would be like dreamy dreamy wish wishes without the burden that you carry when you do not forgive so forgive you can do it everyone over here believes in you and adores you wow lovely card there you go I hold it up so you can take a screenshot of it don't know whether you can see it I hope you can I hope you've enjoyed this uh, reading um, Capricorn so what what is the um, analysis of the reading to get you might be out of balance there are new starts coming believe in yourself let go of the old so that the new can come in forgive the person that's done you wrong so that you can come back into balance and that somebody can come in to now create your own magic okay download this stone agarim agarim from pinterest and print it and then you have it with you that that's a good idea even if i say so myself don't isolate yourself either go out there mingle make new friends news is on its way wow i hope there are other people even in the other realm they are sending you a message you can do it okay what was the message again you can do it everyone over here believes 
in you and adores you, not only there, also on earth. So make your own little world a new beginning, new friends that are trustworthy and loving. And since you're the devil, drop the people that manipulate you, okay? That, that's actually a good, good one that came... Yeah, because the devil means bad habits, okay? And it could also mean that somebody manipulates you or uses you, so stay away. But I just put that one there because you are the devil. The zodiac sign is re represented by the devil because of the horns. So I think it's nice as a tattoo. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please share and like with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the life. Take care and be blessed.